In today's video, I'm going to show you how I set up this super, super essential pegboard. Definitely a must have for all embroidery shops and really for any type of handmade type businesses. Let's talk about the wall that I'm working with. This is a seven foot wide, nine foot high wall. The pegboard I'm working with is a two by four pegboard from Home Depot. And at the very end, I'll show you the total price for this whole project and the full description of everything that I bought. The first thing I wanna do is lay out my board. And here I'm kinda of deciding, do I wanna go horizontal or vertical? And I did buy two boards just in case I wanna fully fill up this wall. This wood here, this is really what's gonna hold everything down together. This furring strip, this is what spaces out the wall, the drywall with the actual board. So we need a little bit of lift off so we can insert our hooks. So this part here has to, has to be done correctly. We have to locate the studs so we could drill our furring strips directly into the studs. And once I located the studs, I'm just gonna draw a straight line as a reference point when I put on my furring strips. And I'm using two inch wood screws and these screws just help prevent it from splitting the wood and easily bites into the studs. And once I have that first wooden strip down, I'm just going to kind of gauge where my next strip is going to be at. And I'm literally going to repeat the same process. So I'm going to find the studs make a mark right at the studs and then just screw right into the studs. And of course, always double, triple check that I'm leveled up. And you can really feel when your screws are going into the studs, it'll bite right into it. You'll fill it with your drill gun. Check it once more, make sure there is zero, zero wiggle room. And once that's good, really all the heavy lifting has been done already. And all we're gonna do is screw this board right into the strips. And definitely the most important visual part is right here. And this is making sure we are super leveled. All right, and it really just holds on by itself. So as I'm attaching this second screw right here, this one really levels it up and once that one's in it's pretty much all good from here on out and really we could have perfectly outlined the square with the furring strips but for this project and for the certain weight where we're gonna put our hoops okay this is where I wanted to attach the furring strips and really this part here I honestly will say is the hardest part and this is actually designing and lining up all your pieces and all your tools so it can look nice and it can be in a location that is easily accessible. And finally, after about an hour of just moving stuff all around, this is how the wall is looking. Let me give you a quick tour and let me show you the stuff that we have on this wall. All right, so right on top, we have this super, super handy shelf right here. And here, our scissors finally have a nice, safe home. And it's pretty high location here, so we don't have to worry about the kids grabbing these scissors right here and playing around with them. Of course, we got the Mighty Hoops on the left, and then our Gen 2 Hoops right here. So they finally have a home here. So they're super, super comfortable right here. And they're just locked in right here, so. And this one here gets used every, every day. This is our tape gun. All right, so now we got it here along with our masking tape. This is all stuff that we use on a daily basis, all right? We got the painter's tape, the blue tape. You already know how important that is. And our metal ruler because everything gets measured in embroidery. Box cutter right here. And you can see our hooks. We have them secured they come with those locks 
so these items they're pretty much locked in all right so you can grab them one-handed okay we got of course super super useful tools we got the adjustable wrench we have the big one the small one all right always very useful and we got our lineman tools right here really we use this anytime we use our snab nab it all right and pretty much it's just extra hands and the rotary cutter another item that gets used on the daily whether we're cutting twill stabilizer cutaway all right this stuff gets used pretty much every single day right here all right now it's just right here waiting for us to be used and really this is the main reason why we made this board okay for our heat gun we finally have a location for our heat gun to be resting we got these little containers right here and useful for our needles okay so we got needles on deck right here different sizes and if you do embroidery of course you already know how useful lighters are okay so you can see our lighter here that one's pretty full put that one here and then we have our other one here okay you kind of see the gauge it's kind of running on low right there and these are really items that kind of get lost in the mix but now we got everything all in one place and we got the screws right here okay we already know how useful we need our Phillips we have our flat tips okay these are all stuff that are always getting used on a daily or at least on a weekly the screws um, the smaller screws we kind of have them still in our little small box but for right now the bigger ones okay we got them right here and then we got our specialty scissors all right it's just stuff that you already know they kind of get kind of lost all over the place and now it's just easy to have them right here okay and i'm telling you as of right now this is kind of how we have it organized and i'm pretty sure within a week or two we're gonna move stuff around but for right now this is kind of like a perfect setup for us all right and then you can see like the the extra furring strips that i have on the right uh we are planning to add another one another pegboard we kind of left it there as our as another option for right now so let's check out the prices on some of this stuff here i got the pegboard so of course the prices they always go up down all right so you can see here it's about 12 bucks for this board i bought two of them here these are our furring strips so you can see how big they are they did cut mine in half so it easily fit my truck you can see here 352 here and i bought two of those and these are all the accessories they got so much accessories but for the most part like these uh straight peg hooks they're about 10 bucks for the six inch had a lot of just random stuff there's stuff that you really don't know if you need it or not but i kind of picked everything up as much as i can just to test it out overall i bought like a lot of just random stuff like a lot of accessories and stuff that i, I didn't really i haven't used everything all at once but i have it here in all i spent about 140 bucks okay but if you're getting exactly what you need and what you want all right it should run you anywhere between 100 bucks so we'll say 100 to 140 bucks all right thank you for stopping by i'll see you on the next one peace out